Hello YouTubers! Do you remember I've tested two 18650 size cells from Queen Battery? A mid-range one rated at 2600 mAh and a 3000 mAh low-drain cell. This time I've tested the high-drain cell, Queen Battery QB18650 2000 mAh, which supports continuous discharge at up to 20 amps. Could it be a good alternative to more expensive Japanese and Korean cells? The tests will give the answer, but first let's take a quick look at my equipment and testing method, then pass to the results of the test. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrees and before each discharging cycle, the battery was charged at its standard charging current, which is mentioned in its datasheet, and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After this charging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer, and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The heat shrink tube of QB18652000 mAh shows only the model number, nominal capacity, maximum discharge rate and nominal voltage. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Nominal capacity 2000 mAh Minimum capacity 1900 mAh Nominal voltage 3.7 volts Standard charge current 1 amp Maximum charge current From 0 to 10 centigrees 0 0.4 amps From 10 to 20 centigrees 1 amp From 20 to 45 centigrees 2 amps Charge and voltage 4.2 volts Maximum continuous discharge current From minus 10 to 0 centigrees 10 amps From 0 to 20 centigrees 15 amps from 20 to 60 centigrees, 20 amps. Maximum pulse discharge current, 40 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage, 2.75 volts. AC impedance, less than 20 milliohms. Weight, 42 grams. Cycle life. After 300 cycles at 1 amp charge, 20 amp discharge, the cell should have more than 80% of initial capacity. The measured weight of my cell was 42.97 grams. The measured diameter was 18.2 mm and it was 65.2 mm long. DC internal resistance measured at 2 amps in fully charged condition was around 16 milliohms. At 0.2C or 0.4 amps, QB18652000 mAh gave out 2208 mAh or 8162 mWh. At 5-amp discharge, 2043 mAh or 7219 mWh. At 10-amps, 2042 million powers or 6984 milliwatt At 15 amp discharge, 2049 million powers or 6780 milliwatt At 20 amps, 1998 million powers or 6465 mWh. Queen battery surprised me again. This cell's real capacity at 0.2C discharge is more than 2200 million powers, so it could easily be rated at 2200. Even at 10C or 20 amp discharge, its capacity is only 2 million powers lower than 2000. That's all I wanted to tell about this cell. Leave your thoughts in comments, like this video if it was interesting for you, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to be notified about future videos on my channel. Bye bye!